Hello friends and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we are here, but here we are and thanks for being here. Today's video, you guys, is such an exciting video because did I find the missing link to my hair growth journey? Maybe. You guys, we're gonna do a one year check-in for using Bondi Boost products. I am so excited. I cannot believe it has been one whole year since I started using Bondi Boost. So if this is content that you guys like to see, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right into this video. Oh my goodness, you guys. One year, one year. We're gonna do some before and afters of my hair. Can you believe the difference? Like, can we believe this difference right here? For those of you guys that are new here, I have thin, dry, brittle hair. When I started my hair growth journey back in January of this year, 2022, I had just cut my hair. I took you guys to the salon with me, okay? So I cut my hair. I had gone from being full platinum from root to tips, and I just, I wrecked my hair, you guys. I did not take care of it. I did not use the right products on it. I just wanted it to be blonde, 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 and long. And it was blonde and long, and then it started breaking off. So I went to the salon, I cut my hair, and I started to really actually take care of my hair for the first time probably ever. I've always used nice shampoos and good quality shampoos, but I overused purple shampoos and, you know, way too much heat. I blow dry and then curl my hair or blow dry and then straighten my hair. So I've done a lot of things different this year. So if you guys want to hear about all of my tips and tricks on how I am growing out my hair and how I have grown out my hair this year and how I'm planning on continuing to grow out my hair into 2023, let's just jump right into this, okay? First things first, I think we all want to know how are we liking the Bondi Boost and what products am I using, okay? Because everybody on the internet, when you Google Bondi Boost, it's all hair growth, hair growth, hair growth. And for me personally, it was not the vibe, okay? I do have psoriatic arthritis. I also have psoriasis. For the most part, my psoriasis is on my scalp. So I have a very sensitive scalp, okay? So I had bought their hair growth full line, like all the products, all of the things, okay? So many products. I will like put a little clip of all the things that I got over here. And the shampoo immediately made my scalp break out in pustules. It was very painful, did not enjoy it. I tried pushing through was not worth it for me. So I had to pass that along. So the hair growth was not for me. And when I originally went to the Bondi Boost website, I went for stuff to help with blonde and I went for repair because my hair was breaking at the time, okay? It was so dry, it was breaking. So I found the Rapid Repair Trio and immediately from day one, that shampoo and conditioner it's beautiful. It hydrates my hair. My hair feels good immediately. Like I can feel the difference washing my hair in the shower after putting the conditioner on. I can feel the difference getting out of the shower. I can feel the difference. The rapid repair serum that you put on after the shower, I can feel a difference. Okay. And you can see the difference. Okay. So the Bondi Boost Rapid Repair Trio has been gold. If you have dry, brittle, blonde, breaking hair, like this girl right here did at the end of last year, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Rapid Repair Trio. All three, the full system is amazing, okay? The purple shampoo and conditioner and extra, all the things, don't waste your money. It dried out my hair, it didn't hydrate it. I even got the extra hydrating mask, did nothing. Did not help brighten my blonde at all. Like, just don't waste your money. The rapid repair is what you want, okay? And then I'm gonna get into a list of all the products that I do currently use on my hair so that if you want to maintain your blonde in a healthy, safe way and all that jazz, I will be talking about that in a little bit, okay? The other key point of my hair growth journey, you guys, has been I don't blow dry my hair unless it's absolutely necessary because I don't need to. I wash my hair at night, I let it dry overnight, and then we move on, okay? Then I just style my hair the next day. It's perfect, all right? The other thing that I do is I don't use hair ties anymore. Not even the soft hair ties. Like, I just don't use hair ties unless it's like absolutely necessary. It's the only thing I have. I have claw clips, like little claw clips. If I'm gonna work out, I put my hair up in a little bun. I just put my hair in a clip because my hair, you guys, I was wearing it in a high pony all year last year 
and I broke like right here at the back of my head, all of my hair was breaking. It was not cool, okay? Not cool and not cute, okay? So I don't use hair ties anymore. I just use clips, which has been working. It's working, you guys. We love that. And then we've got quite possibly the only missing link because the only thing I really do to my hair that's truly damaging is I still curl my hair with a curling iron. All right, so did we find the missing link? We're gonna find out. Okay, you guys, finally I took the leap, okay? So I wanted to buy the Kitsch Heatless Curling Set at the beginning of the year. But after I cut my hair, it was so short that I knew I wouldn't be able to get it all in. You know what I mean? Like in the back and everything. So I would have funky curls. And then I wanted to buy it again and it was like sold out a ton of times. And so a couple weeks ago, I was on Amazon and I was like, I wonder if they just have it on Amazon. You know what I mean? Found it on Amazon. It took a couple weeks to get here, but she's here and I'm excited. If we can do heatless curls, I think that that will absolutely be like the epitome of like really healthy hair for me because that's the last thing that I do to my hair that's not good is the curling iron. So adding heatless curls, this could be amazing. I've seen so many. You guys, we're gonna do this together. We're gonna see, is this the missing link? We have our Bondi Boost. We're hydrating the you know what out of our hair. We're not blow drying. We're not wearing bad hair ties. And now heatless curling set. I'm excited and a little nervous to try this, but we're gonna do it together. Before we jump into getting really uncute and doing some heatless curling. <laughs> I just wanted to run through really quick all of the products that I use on my hair so that if you have thin, dry, blonde hair and you're trying to get it back to feeling really good and really hydrated, maybe some of these products will work really well for you, okay? So I was gonna jump into my shower and grab all of the things, but they're covered in water and ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna put them over here for you to see and everything I'm talking about will be listed in the description box down below for you guys because I have psoriatic arthritis and for anybody who has psoriasis who watches my channel I see you I'm with you and something that has been crucial for my hair journey is keeping your scalp healthy and you don't want to have a bunch of plaques or pustules on your scalp. One, it's really painful. And two, your hair follicles aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing when your scalp is angry and inflamed. Know what I'm saying? So the two shampoos that I use to treat my psoriasis on my scalp are these over here. This one right here is the one I use 99% of the time. That is the one that if I have pustules on my scalp, I put it on. One, it doesn't hurt. I promise. It's soothing actually. And it just clears it up right away. So here you go. It's amazing. And then two, I am blonde and I like to have nice, bright, crisp blonde. Now I've tried so many different purple shampoos. I've even talked a little bit of smack about this shampoo in the past, but it wasn't the shampoo's fault. I take all the blame. I was overusing this shampoo and completely drying my hair out, okay? It was my fault. The Olaplex purple shampoo is phenomenal, okay? I don't have to leave it in my hair very long and it tones my hair beautifully. It takes all that red brassy warmth out of my hair and makes my hair look beautiful blonde. I love it. Now it will dry your hair out, okay? It just does. So you have to know that going into it. I used to use the shampoo like two to three times a week. Now I use this shampoo one time a week to every other week. It depends on what my hair needs. It depends on how much I'm washing my hair. You know what I'm saying? And for me, that's working, okay? So I use that, but every single time I use that shampoo, I'm going to be deep conditioning my hair. Now I use the S Factor Deep Conditioning Conditioner. I will have that linked here. First of all, it smells phenomenal, but I only use that in my ends. I still use the Bondi Boost Conditioner like in the top and I'll even pull it all the way down. And then I just take the S Factor and put that over the Bondi Boost on my ends and in here. You know what I mean? Like here down over the Bondi Boost. Now I'm not saying load your hand up with a ton of Bondi Boost to put it on. I do two pumps of the Bondi Boost because that's how much it takes to get from the top to the bottom in my hair. 
and then I take just like a little tiny bit of the S factor. Now I, mine comes in a tub, so I have to like scoop it out. But if you get the little squeezy tube, I would say start with maybe a dime size, especially if you're only doing the bottoms, like you don't need that much, you know, just put it in the bottoms. So good. I put the conditioner in while I'm shaving my legs let it sit for a few minutes, and then I rinse it out really well, okay? Because if you have psoriasis on your scalp, you want no residue left on your scalp, okay? Rinse your hair well. And the Bondi Boost shampoo and conditioner on the bottle, it says you need to rinse for at least 30 seconds. Actually take that time, so much better for your scalp, I promise. And then when I get out of the shower, I use the Rapid Repair Serum. First, I just do two pumps. When my hair was short, I did one pump. My hair is longer now, I do two pumps now. That just gets all over my hair. I start at the top and I take that all the way down to my ends. And then I can't remember the name of it, but it is a Jack Wynn all-in-one. It's a heat protectant detangler. It like does a bunch of really great things for your hair. So I'll do a couple pumps of that and I put it on. Now, if you don't have a sensitive scalp, feel free to just like spray it on your hair. Again, I have a really sensitive scalp. If I spray that and it gets on my scalp directly, especially up top, my scalp will start to break out. But I've found that if I just put a couple pumps in my hand and I put it in my hair around the blonde edges and on the ends, it doesn't affect my scalp. And I love it. Also, I use that as my heat protectant in the morning. So I use that as like a detangler at night to comb out my hair. I use a wet brush. I will have it listed in the description box down below for you or a wide tooth comb, either is fine. And then I just let my hair air dry overnight. So I curl my hair in the morning. And so despite the fact that I've put a heat protectant on my hair, it's been, you know, 12 hours since I put that on. So I will take two to three pumps, depends on like how much I think I might need, you know, rub it on my hands. And I specifically get right here because this is like my most fragile blonde. And then I'll put it, you know, in my ends, in the back of my hair, because that's where we had the breakage. And then in my ends, and I let it sit for a couple minutes while I put my foundation and stuff on. And then I curl my hair and I have a heat protectant on my hair, which is so important. But I am so excited because now maybe we don't even need to use a curling iron, which is so exciting. It says for healthier and stronger hair. That is what we need, you guys. That is the vibe. And how cute is this? Like, I love this. So those are all the products I put on my hair. I stopped using hairspray this year. For like probably the first six months of the year, I did not use any hairspray. I do use a Paul Mitchell hairspray now every once in a while. I don't use it regularly. Typically it's like day three hair when my hair's starting to get a little bit oily and just needs like a little extra help to help hold the curls a little bit better. Or if it's raining and wet outside, my hair will just get really flat really fast. So I might use a little bit of hairspray then. But I try not to use hairspray just because again, the more products I put in my hair, the more sensitive my scalp is. And if I'm putting a ton of hairspray on my scalp, my scalp will start to break out in pustules and then it doesn't feel good. And then, you know, then we have to wash my hair more often and then my hair gets drier and you know, we just don't need that in our life. So that's what I've done to take care of my hair this year. I am so happy with the results that I've had this year. I am like, this is really long for my hair, which is really amazing. It's about the length that my hair was last year at this time, except that my hair is so healthy this year versus last year when it was platinum blonde and breaking all over the place and really sad. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Bondi Boost. Your rapid repair trio is phenomenal. I highly recommend to everyone I know. I love it. And I will have all those products listed in the description box down below. But without further ado, should we go try our new kitsch? Who has tried it? Before we jump into this, pause the video, go down, leave me a hands up emoji, or tell me, have you tried it? Do you want to try it? Are you interested in the kitsch heatless curling thing at all? I have been so curious about this for so long and just, I don't know, like, like I said, I tried getting it a couple times and they were sold out and then I'd forget about it. And I just feel like I absolutely cannot go another day without this, at least without trying it and seeing if it really works. So let's go see if it really works. Okay. Here she is in all her glory. Don't have a lot of hair, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Place curling ribbon on top of damp, dry hair and use your favorite kitsch claw clip, not included. They don't tell you that, and I don't use big claw clips. To secure in place, begin wrapping half of your hair around, starting at the top of your head. That's a picture. I feel like Pippi Longstocking a little bit. 
Fun fact, I was a cheerleader in high school. They used to make us wear curlers to school. Oh my goodness. I think I had to wear curlers my first day of freshman year in like a big top bun, like a top pony with a bunch of curlers. And they made us wear these like tiger, cause we were tigers, tiger fabric like cover so that we couldn't actually see the curlers. You saw tiger fabric instead. How embarrassing to wear on your very first day in high school. Builds character, tell you what. My husband is so gonna make fun of me from wearing this. I was trying to do it before he came home, but he came home early. So I get to look like Pippi Longstocking in front of my husband. <laughs> so right now, this is our vibe. What do we think? Do we think it's gonna work? I don't know, we'll find out. All right, you guys, it's almost nine and they've been in for several hours now. Um, the top is definitely dry. The bottom down here is still feeling a little bit damp, but I am not sleeping in these. I just like laid down with Liv and snuggled her before bedtime. And this is so uncomfortable. Like you can't sleep in this, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna take it out and see at, like how they look. And we'll, we'll decide from there. I also folded these guys up so that they weren't like hitting me. <laughs> so let's see. Do we have curls? At least some. See, it's still wet. It needed more time, but we have nice curls at the top. That's nice. We'll try this again, maybe with not so wet hair. All right, you guys, I know this video is getting very long, so thank you guys if you're still here. I love you, thank you for being here. This will now be the fourth time I've tried the Kitsch headband, and I hope the fourth time is a charm. So yesterday I washed my hair and I put the Kitsch headband in for like two hours, and my hair was almost dry. Like the only part of my hair that wasn't dry was down here, and it was damp. And after two hours, it still was not dry. Like for some reason, my hair is not drying on the bottom in this Kitsch roller. I'm not sure why. So my hair is currently dry. I'm just gonna spritz it lightly with some water, comb it out, and then we're gonna wrap it. We'll time it and we'll see how long it takes for my hair to dry. And I'll show you the end result at the end. If you guys want like a full tutorial of how to do this or how to use this, if I succeed, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to film that for you. As for right now, I'm just going to speed through this so that you guys don't have to watch me do the whole thing again. But also the missing link. I found a clip that we can use. Here we go. All right, guys. Okay, so it's been, it's 3.30 now. So it's been an hour and 20 minutes. This is the final reveal. We're gonna unclip. Let's see how she turned out. Is it still a little damp? Might still be a little damp. My hair still feels a little damp under here. That is crazy, you guys. My hair is so thin and I used no water at all, but that's okay. The claw clip at the top did nothing good for my hair. That's okay. But I have to say, they're pretty curls. Is it worth sitting in it for so long? I don't know, but heatless curls. I might try experimenting with their other curlers, not the single one, but the one that has like smaller rollers and do like one on top and two on the bottom. I might even be able to sleep in that. That would be way more comfortable. This is so uncomfortable, you guys. I don't love it. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming along this one year hair growth journey with me. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to come back for more Vlogmas. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.